Hello guys, I am back to make another video. And please pardon my ugly hair that I'll probably be fixing throughout the whole entire video. So today I'm going to do my first time tag video thingy. I'm not actually looking at the tag, I just watched like a whole crap ton of them and I just kind of picked ones that I could answer. This is not sexual by the way, this is completely normal. Okay, don't even, if you click on this video to see that, go away because... No. Just no. So, let's get started. I guess we'll start with my first concert. The first concert that I ever went to was Nickelback. Judge me if you want. I've seen them twice, actually. I saw them, that was my first and second concert. I actually have my ticket for the concert right here because I've kept all the tickets from all the concerts that I've went to. It was on April 1st, 2009, apparently. That was a long time ago. I was sitting in section 209, or in, yeah, in section 209, row 32. So, pretty fucking crappy seats, to be honest with you. First pet I ever had. First pet that I had when I was little was a dog named Bossy. No, it's not because she was Bossy. My, she was my dad's dog, like, because my parents both had dogs. Um, she was my dad's dog and his favorite hockey player was Mike Bossy, so that's why her name is Bossy. She was a German Shepherd, Husky, and she was the prettiest dog ever, but unfortunately we had to put her down a few years ago because she just wasn't doing too well. She had hip problems and stuff like that, so we had to put her down, so it was a pretty sad day. Next is my first big purchase. My first big purchase in reality was probably my Game Boy when I was younger, when I was like probably 11, 10 or 11. Uh, my parents used to play softball all the time, so me and my sister would legitimately go digging through garbage cans to find bottles and cans and stuff like that so we could trade them in for money and stuff. And I did that and bought myself, it was a blue Game Boy. It was like the little square ones, I don't have any idea what it was called. I think it was a Game Boy Color or something. It was just one of the, like, the ones that folds down, it was a square. And yeah, I don't currently have it. I kind of wish I had kept it, but I, I gave it away. My first job is the job that I'm still currently at. I work at a concession at the rec center in my hometown. And yeah, it's an alright job, I guess. The first phone I ever had was a flip phone. It was white. I think it was... I don't remember what the name was, but I knew it was by Samsung. It was my parents' old phone, so it was really worn out. And I basically had to get a new one at a few, like a few months later, because I wore it out. Because, you know, you first get your phone. When your parents say, oh, the phone is only for emergencies, don't use it for anything else. And then you obviously use it for everything, for texting and stuff, and yeah. I remember that phone though, it had like, because it was a flip phone, it didn't have like the keys on it, it had like, you had to use like T9 Word on it. Oh my god, I was so awesome at T9 Word, I was just the, the shits at t typing with T9 Word. My first grade teacher was in, I lived, I lived in Lloydminster at this point in time, I do believe, and I'm pretty sure her name was Miss Namier. And I don't really remember much about her except that she had a rabbit that was named Carmel and her hair was huge. Like I remember like pretend this is her head, her hair came up to like here. Oh, I have to duck. It came up to like here and it looked like it had a part like down the middle and I'm like, is your head that big? Or how do you get your hair up like that? It was a very weird, she had a weird hairstyle. I don't know how she did that. Oh, I, pff, I don't know. First person I subscribed to on YouTube was probably either Charlie is so cool like or Naramon. I cannot remember because I'm pretty sure I probably subscribed to them at the same time more or less. And then they were the only really two people I was subscribed to for a really long time. And then I think one of them did a collab with somebody. And then my addiction to YouTube started and has continued to be an everlasting addiction. The first thing I did this morning. The first thing I did this morning was wake up, obviously. <laughs> I woke up and I rolled over, picked up my phone, and went on Twitter. Pretty much what I do every single morning ever. My first tweet. I have not actually had Twitter for that long, but I figured I'd look back anyways because I use Twitter a lot. You should go follow me. 
at Wilkins underscore Haley. So I was looking back and my first tweet was on January 15, 2012, so almost two years ago. It reads, don't you hate it when others delete your comments because they don't want other people to see it? Dot dot dot, cause it's true. Apparently I was a sassy bitch back then. <laughs> I don't really remember exactly what that was inferring to. I might have been referring to something that one of my ex-friends did. I don't know. It might have, I, mm, I don't know. It was a long time ago. I don't remember. My first fear, and it's still currently probably my fear. I'm not really, I don't say that I'm afraid of much because I'm like, I'm not afraid of spiders and snakes and stuff like that. Spiders, the thing with spiders is I'm okay with them unless they're in my room. If they're in my room, they die because it's my room and they don't need to be in there. The thing that I fear more than anything is just in general talking to other people. <laughs> I, it's not that I don't like talking to other people, it's just, I don't know how, and it scares me, like, I don't, I can't just go up to someone and talk to them, like, it just something that I can't do, like, I, I just don't like doing it, and I can't, it's very hard for me to bring myself to go talk to someone, like, I just have very, a very hard time doing it. If it's me and one other person, I can't do it. Like, if I have to go- if I- I can't physically go up to them and start talking to them. Like, I just can't. I get way too nervous and I don't know what to say and people- people always tell me, they're like, Oh, it's so easy. All you do is go up and say hi. And I'm like, okay, got that. But what do I say after that? Like, I ask them what they're doing and then they tell me. They'll see- ask what I'm doing and- or how I am or whatever. And where do I go after that? Like, I don't know. It always- makes me very scared and I'm very 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 shy when you first meet me but after that I kind of go and after I get to know you better and become more comfortable around you I just kind of end up being probably one of the loudest people you ever know and I don't really ever shut up so <laughs> oh yeah I'm one of those people and last but not least my first kiss my first kiss okay here's the thing what do you consider a first kiss like a peck kiss or like a kiss with tongue or what because I haven't actually had a kiss with tongue the first kiss was with my ex-boyfriend the only one I've ever had and it was I was just about to leave his house just about to walk home our houses were like are, are like three blocks apart so I was just about to leave his house to walk home I'd spent a couple hours there doing whatever we were doing. I think we were watching Insidious. Maybe. I don't know. We were kind of standing on his front doorstep. I had spent five minutes trying to get my shoes on because Converse gotta tie them up. Can't just pull them on. Gotta make things awkward. <laughs> so I was sitting there tying up my shoes and I stand up and I kind of, he kind of put his arms around me. Okay. He was six foot three. I'm only five foot two or five foot three, just in case anyone's wondering. So that's like a foot difference. He kind of had his arms drooping down on me, and yeah. So I kind of had him, I was hugging him kind of around his waist, and, because that's all I could reach. He was just kind of looking at me, and I was kind of looking up at him, because he's so fucking tall. And he was kind of looking at me, he's like, you know what, fuck it, and then he just kissed me, and I'm like, what? But it wasn't a legit, like, tongue kiss or anything, it was kind of like a, and that was it. It was it. it ho well, okay, it was more like, and then he, I don't know, don't even, I don't even, don't even ask me. I don't know what happened or why that happened or, I don't, it's kind of one of those things, you know, you always wish that your first kiss is perfect and romantic and with the guy of your dreams and crap like that, but yeah, mine wasn't. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Give it a like if you enjoyed and subscribe down there or I'll put a little linky somewhere in this vicinity. And subscribe if you want to see more videos from me in the future. So yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye!